Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Once Upon a Crescent. This is season seven with your host and storyteller, Mrs. Hashmi. This podcast show is especially about kids like you. My dear Muslim kid listeners, you are incredibly special to me because if you think about it, I am a part of your imagination. While I'm telling the story, you are imagining it. Now that's really special. Let's get started. Mm, where's that imagination button that I have to push to start this episode? Oh, there it is. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's story is called Mariam's Big Move. Mariam was surrounded by cardboard boxes. The sound of boxes being taped echoed throughout her now empty home. All the furniture in her home had been shifted into a moving truck. Mariam's family was now emptying out their home and getting ready to move. This move meant relocating to a new city, in a new community, at a new neighborhood. In a new home, with new surroundings and new people and new friends. Oh, just thinking about it all always brought tears to Mariam's eyes. Mama noticed Mariam lost in thought. She stood in an empty living room looking at all the new space that opened up. Mariam stood there quietly thinking back to all the times she and her two-year-old brother Hamza would climb the couch. How they would jump off the couch and into their Baba's arms to play and wrestle with him. Now everything was empty. She looked to the kitchen, which was entirely empty. No plates, no spoons, nothing. The table that they used to eat breakfast at was now packed away in the moving truck. Her favorite meals were made in this kitchen like warm Maggie noodles or gooey yummy brownies. Ah, <sighs> moving felt hard to Mariam. Mama went to Mariam to rub her back. Mariam turned her body to Mama and hugged her tight as she sniffled. <laughs> Why do we have to leave our house, Mama? Why do we have to move? Mama replied in a calm voice. We have to move, Mariam, because our time here is done. Allah has other plans for us. We may not know all the answers to every question about why something is happening, but we do know that Allah chooses things to happen to us for the best of reasons. Mariam had heard Baba say this same thing to her yesterday. Mama continued to hold Mariam in a hug. Hamza waddled over to give his big sister a hug too. I give you a hug, gay. Hamza offered Mariam a squishy ball that he found lying around somewhere. Mariam smiled at the silly sound of the squishy ball. Do you want to play with me, Hamza? Mama and Baba are busy packing, but we can play in the living room where there's more space. There's actually been more space in the home now. All the furniture was totally packed away in the moving truck. Hamza ran into the empty rooms, giggling as he kicked around the squishy ball like it was a soccer ball. Mariam followed her little brother, but felt sad as she entered her mom and dad's empty room. She looked around and noticed everything was totally packed up. This home that she loved and the one that she was born in was now ready for others to come and live in. What a strange feeling this was. Baba came up from behind Mariam. He squeezed the squishy ball to make Mariam giggle. She didn't smile this time, though. Mama entered the room now, too. She took hold of the squishy ball from Baba and threw it at his shoulder. Tag, you're it, she said cheerfully. 
Baba looked at Mama and smiled. Oh, this is a game we're playing, huh? <laughs> well, I was always good at dodgeball. Mama interrupted. Mariam, you're on my team. Let's play a game to cheer you up. Look, look at all this space here. Even if the ball bounces around, it won't matter since there's nothing that can break in here. <laughs> Mariam loved that idea. Mariam ran to stand next to her mom as Baba picked up little Hamza in his arms. Baba inched closer and exclaimed, Okay, I'll give you three seconds to run off and then I'm coming to chase you down with this squishy ball. Three, two, one, go! Mama and Mariam sped off trying to dodge Baba and Hamza's squishy ball from hitting them. Mariam glanced behind her to see if Baba was aiming for her. The ball came flying in her direction, but she instantly ducked. Mama got tagged on her back by Baba. Aw, I'm it. Okay, Mariam, let's go get Baba. Mama high-fived Mariam and ran into the empty living room, zipping in between the cardboard boxes to get a good aim at Baba. Mama tried to throw the squishy ball right at him, but she couldn't get a good shot. But Baba ran past them and he went into another room. He hid inside the closet with Hamza in his arms and he waited to see if Mama or Mariam would even find him. Mama trailed behind calling to Mariam. I think Baba just turned this game into a hide-and-seek game. Mariam giggled as she <laughs> flung open the closet door. She had already heard Hamza giggling inside. <laughs> Baba and Hamza were discovered and they were easily tagged with the squishy ball. Mama was out of breath. <gasps> that was really fun. Alhamdulillah. Ah, what a nice house this was. It was big enough for all of us, and we had such good memories here. Alhamdulillah. You know, I think I'm going to miss it too, Mama said, taking a seat on the floor to catch her breath. Baba got cozy next to Mariam. He settled down on the floor and looked around to the empty room. If Allah gave us such nice memories and happy times here, then I'm excited to see what Allah has planned for us next. May it be filled with khair and barakah and wherever we end up. I pray it's in a place that allows us to be good Muslims. I hope we find a house near a masjid next. Oh, and next to a lake, Mariam added. Oh, and near a desi store so we can cook your favorite, durai, Mama cheerfully exclaimed. Mariam smiled at that. Mama, I can help you pack this last box. I'm a volunteer for you. Is there anything left to do? She asked. Baba interrupted. Actually, we're done, Mariam. We're going to lock the doors and head to our new home now, inshallah. Mariam felt a surge of excitement when she heard the word new. Hamza understood too. I come, I come. Mama thought that was cute. She laughed. Of course Hamza comes. Where else would you be, Hamza? She said, taking him to the front door to wear his shoes. Mariam followed behind, getting ready to leave. Baba held the door open for his family, and just as they were about to exit this home for the last time, he held Mariam's shoulder back for a moment. Wait, wait, let's read our dua for leaving the house one last time for this home. Do you remember the dua, Mariam, that we read when leaving the home? Mariam nodded. They all read their dua together. Mama whispered the translation to herself. In the name of Allah, I have placed my trust in Allah. There is no might, no power except by Allah. Mama felt hopeful in what Allah has in store for them as a family next. from listening to today's story by Mrs. Hashmi. This story was sponsored by Sister Komal for her daughter Mariam and her son Hamza. I hope you enjoyed this story. 
To all my dear kid listeners, I am so excited to come meet you online. If you haven't purchased your virtual event ticket, please make sure to do that. I would love to see some new and returning faces on my virtual event on August 5th, Saturday, 11 a.m. Central. To purchase those tickets, check out the link in the description box. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.